Okay, folks, this is my first CNC machine. Uh, I just got finished putting it together, and it's, this is not going to be the environment that it'll finally be in when I start using it. I just wanted to test everything out to make sure everything was working. And uh, I got to a point where I was hitting the Z at, I was hitting the limit switches, the limit of the machine, up, down, at left, and right, and uh, there's no instructions on how to get out of being stuck at the limit switch. And I found that all you got to do is keep unlocking the machine, reset, unlock, reset, unlock, and eventually you can move back, back out of the limit switch. Uh, at first, I was mechanically adjusting it up and down, left and right, to get it out of the you know, limit uh, cutoff. And I'll show you what I mean. So, so, so say I move back. just hit the limit and if you notice when I click it doesn't do anything else so if I want to move forward it doesn't do anything either so so it's completely in safe mode I guess so what I found is if I click the reset and then click unlock it'll and then move the opposite direction of the limit it'll move but it'll limit again <coughs> See that? So I just keep doing it until I'm until the limit switch is disengaged. Reset, unlock, move. And that's how I figured out how to get out of it locking in the limit. My next issue was the Z height. The Z axis was another issue. And this machine came is supposed to come pre-built. What you did, the uh this whole assembly was already put together um so i was hitting i'm actually at its limit already in the z-axis and what i found is as when i'm following along to do the test i you know i mounted this board so we can test you know the uh cutting action and if you notice right there i'm i've already limited out on the z-axis so how am I supposed to test and cut something if it doesn't even touch the surface? So again, there's no instructions on, you know, what to do, how to do it. So what I did was I adjusted the tip of this so I can let it hang out as far as possible. And it still doesn't touch the board. So I'm thinking, well, maybe we have to adjust this been this metal here to make it not hit as, as you know so soon and and stop the z movement uh and i got to looking at this thing and i realized again i'm a newbie that all i would have to do is adjust the height of the mo the, the spindle motor and it looks like i could just lower it down and i'll be able to touch that it took me a while to think about that uh, you know, assuming that if this thing is pre-built, that all of this would be set up properly already. But no, you have to make that adjustment yourself. So, I'm going to try to move out of that Z limit. Once again, I'll click reset and unlock, and then I'll move up. And see, it's in the limit. So, I got to click reset, unlock, Move up, and now, now I'm out of the Z limit, and it goes up. So now, again, I wanted to, I wanted to do the test cut that comes with the machine, and I went to put, I wanted to get to the starting point here, the origin, and I couldn't because it it, it limited out before it would even come anywhere near the surface of that board. So it's limited already. It's locked. It won't go any further. So I didn't mean to put that. Okay. So let's click and see if we can get any lower. That is it. See that? 
So let's reset, unlock, up one, reset, unlock, up again. Again, you can change these increments if you want to, want to get out of the, the reset safety, you know, faster. Uh, well, not this one. We'll leave that like that. This is the one I change. And it's already at 100, so I mean, you know, that's pretty much. So reset, unlock, and we're free. We're free. Go to the forward limit. Say, hey, I made a mistake. I want to back out of it. It actually, we weren't actually at the limit yet. Now we're there. Let's see if it'll let me move back. Nope, it won't let me move back. So reset, unlock, move back, reset. Unlock, move back, and we're free. So what I'm going to now do is put this rubber con protector back on to keep from getting cut. And I am going to... this back the way it should be. The wrong one. That was the right one. Loosen that up. Let's see if I can push that in further. According to the instruction manual, it says push it all the way in and then back off some. So again, I'm a newbie. If I'm doing this wrong, please comment and let me know. Okay. So now this one, this doesn't stay on, but that's fine. So now the next thing I want to do is probably adjust those, adjust this so it, it'll actually touch the board. So let's go back to our Z. Let's go down. I think I want to put it just before it actually makes contact. Somewhere near there, I'm assuming. And then I'm gonna adjust this down till it actually touches the spoil board because we don't want to cut into the spoil board. Well, not the spoil board, but the surface board. I don't know what you call it, this board. MDF spoil board. Okay. So let's see. Let's move it to the left some. So say I wanted to cut all the way through that wood there, I'm gonna have to lower it so that it touches the table. Just so it touches. So that screw is already loose. And I didn't mess with these, it came like that. have Loctite or something on these things. 
Ooh, see it came down? Came down some. So let me loosen this cable here. Just hold off before I lock that in. Let's see, let's move it down some more. Actually, let me take this thing off so I can actually see the tip. Where did I have to do this? So I just am touching. So I don't want to be that close. I don't think. I want the limit before it actually touches. So let's lower the Z a little more. There we go. So I want I want the for me, my preference is that lemon switch keeps it from hitting this board right here. So I'm going to adjust the motor down just until it almost touches the board, but don't quite make it. And I think that's close enough for me. Again, the manual doesn't say, hey, you have to adjust the spindle mode. I mean, I guess it's obvious for those that's, that's been doing the CNC for a long time. But my thought is, if, it, if it's pre-assembled, I shouldn't. Why, why should I have to adjust this, the height of this motor? I don't mind doing it. I mean, eventually I'm going to change this motor to a DeWalt motor. That'll be another video. Okay, here we go. Reset, unlock. Reset, unlock. touch my surface very nice well folks that's it for those of you that are new like me and get the machine put together and just can't quite make it to the board that you want to cut because the z-axis limit is kicking in before you can cut into your board And if you're hitting the limit switch and you were mechanically dialing everything out uh, back there, here, the Y motor and the Z motors, just to get it off the limit switch, you shouldn't have to do that. And, you know, I, again, I found that all, all you got to do is hit the reset and unlock twice and it'll move you away, away from the uh, limit switches, whether it's on the Y axis or the Z axis. Okay, thanks for watching folks and please comment and subscribe.